Hi, welcome to the first module of Algorithm and Programming video quiz about flowchart. Do you know about flowchart? If you don't know, let's take a look. In simple terms, flowchart is a diagram that represents a set of instructions. Then, what are the most common symbols used in a flowchart? Start or end symbol, also known as the terminator symbol. It is used to represent the beginning or end of a workflow. Next is arrow symbol. It is used to represent the order of operation or workflow. Now we have process symbol. It is used to represent a process action or function. Data symbol. It is used to represent input or output of data. And last but not least, we have decision symbol. It is used to represent a decision to be made. So, how to create a flowchart? Please check this out. Here is an example of making a flowchart. In this study case, we are asked to help Mrs. Mawar to find the best workers using the hiring process. We are going to make the flowchart by using draw.io. First, open a browser and search for draw.io. Then, select Create New Diagram and click Blank Diagram. Then, select Create button. Next, we can rename the file. This is the main view of draw.io. We will make a flowchart, so select the flowchart menu. Before starting the flowchart, you must use the terminator symbol as a start in making flowchart. Add the text can be done by double click on the symbol. Then you type start. Select the data symbol and put it right under the start symbol. Then, double-click to type Identify Need to Fill Position. To add a connector, you can click the arrow on the start symbol so that it goes directly to the symbol below it. Next, select the process symbol and put it right under the data symbol. Then, double click to type the screening candidate. Then, click the arrow from the data symbol. In addition, we can also click the arrow on the previous symbol to choose what next symbol to use. Then double-click to type the hiring process. Here is the final flowchart of the study case. The first thing to do is start. Next, we use the data symbol to identify the position that require new employees. Then, after knowing the positions that require new employees, we use the process symbol to perform filtering based on the employees who apply. Next, we use process symbol in the hiring for selecting employees that match the existing position. Then, conduct an assessment of the employee by reviewing. We use the decision symbol because there are two possibilities. If the candidate does not meet the qualification, the candidate will go through the hiring process.
If the candidate meets the qualification, then they will be accepted as an employee. And then, close the flowchart with terminator symbol and type N. You can also use on-page reference symbol and continue the flowchart on the left or right side as shown on the screen.